going to change now, isn't it? Facing this stuff in real life is not like school. When you're a second away from being murdered or watching a friend die right before your eyes, he asked me to bring his body back. I couldn't leave him. You don't know what that's like. That's why we need your help. Because if we're going to have any chance of beating Voldemort. He's back. Voldemort's back. He's really back. You're more like them than you know her. Be safe. Be strong. In time, you'll come to see just how much. Things we lose have a way of coming back to us in the end. It is not our abilities that show what we truly are. It is our choices. Don't you understand? I have to do this. I have to kill you. He's gonna kill me. There's a reason Harry can speak with snakes. There's a reason he can look into Lord Voldemort's mind. A part of Voldemort lives inside him. Nobody else is going to die. Not for me. For you. When are you going to get into your head? We're in this together. This is a whole lot bigger than that. It's always been bigger than that. I know how you feel, Harry. Are you dying? You think I don't know how this feels? Oh, you don't know how it feels! Your parents are dead. You have no family. So weak. So vulnerable. You're the weak one, and you'll never know love or friendship. <laughs> and I feel sorry for you. You must be the one who killed me, Mr. How dare you stand where he stood? Only then will the Dark Lord trust you completely. Tell them how it happened that night. Tell them how you looked him in the eye, a man who trusted you and killed him. It is the only way. Fight back! You coward, fight back! We've all got both light and dark inside us. Dead. What matters is the part we choose to act on. Every great wizard in history started out as nothing more than what we are now. If they can do it, why not us? We've got one thing that Voldemort doesn't have. Something worth fighting for. Why should that mean that it's not real?